guys, it's Luna. Welcome to this week's video. I woke up and I was feeling super off and I was like, okay, it's a Saturday, it's so beautiful out. I have no obligations really. Today I did all my uploads this morning and I was like, I'm gonna take the day to myself and do everything that makes me feel good, report back to you tonight and see if it all worked. Because I feel like people always ask me like, oh, what do you do when you're feeling off? And this day would be the perfect example of that. Like I woke up, I had my coffee, I journaled, which I haven't done in a while. I always do like slight makeup and hair and like a cute outfit just so I feel good throughout the day. Like I feel like if my hair is a mess and I feel gross and ugly, like I feel worse inside. So that's what we're doing right now. My mom's out of town. Everyone I love is out of town. I'm left to the wolves here at home. <laughs> but genuinely, I feel like I haven't had one of these days to myself in so long. And I think it's gonna be really good for me. So today is Luna Day. I'm just doing a slight makeup right now, just literally to go to the grocery store because we need to go grocery shopping. My fridge is absolutely empty. I don't remember the last time I cooked. My house has been kind of messy, so I really wanna just clean it today. I wanna schedule out like my week so that I feel productive and good. I feel like I just have not been on my game and it's changing now, promise. I just wanted to do very natural makeup, just to enhance the features, but today's gonna be a good day. Let's go to Trader Joe's. I got this new set active top. Like, since when did I have boobs? I don't know, but today we do. It's gonna be a good day. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have food in the fridge. You ready? This looks so sexual for no reason. <laughs> Does this look gross to you guys? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. My bags, my Bottega. Let's go to TJ's. Just got back from Trader Joe's. I'm opening some packages because they've been laying around. I just opened this one from Black Bow Swim. A little hat. Ugh, I used to love this stuff. And then they have this new bikini print, the matching little top, and little shorts. And then another different type of print. I love this type of style. Bralette, balconette, I don't know. Very cute. So we have all those. Next package is from Caudalie. I literally just ran out of this, so thank you. This is a package from Bleach London. Some shampoo and conditioner. I'm excited to try these out because I'm working with them. And obviously want to test them before you get the full review. Next package is from Rebag. Ooh. Voila. Stop. Oh my god, they're so cool. Oh, they're tight. Why are they so small? Um, I work with Rebag on a loan program, so every month I get a bag and accessories. And then my bag of the month. Is this Dior bag? How cool is this? It's like denim. I think it's so cool. Thank you, Rebag. I think that's all the PR packages I have for you today.
Hey guys, I just got home from ballet. It was so good for me to do that. Just get into a class, completely get out of my head. I also made a cute little like TikTok and reel that is doing pretty good for me right now, which always makes me feel good. And I actually really like making those videos. So it's nice when I get to do like content that I like. My neighbor's dog will not stop barking. So I'm already feeling a lot better, even though I woke up kind of weird. I asked on my Instagram, like, just a little mental health update. How is everyone doing? And I got some responses, so I kind of wanted to, like, just review them and see. Someone said, I feel like I have no energy, but I try to stay happy. For a while, I would feel so guilty for being tired or just, like, taking days off. And the guilt would just overpower me and give me so much anxiety, when in reality, like... That anxiety just spanned over the whole week and kept me from doing a lot of things when if I took that one day off, maybe I would have accomplished so many more things in that week. Cancel everything, do what makes you feel good. Like today, for me, I really just try to do everything that makes me feel good. Life is short, yeah, but it also isn't, you know? Like, in three years from now, you're not gonna think about that one day off that you took. You know, that was like super existential for no reason. Someone said they're not feeling so good, my life feels so repetitive and I hate school. I know school's hard. With your life feeling repetitive, I definitely feel that. I think the number one thing you can do, especially if it's like repetitive school stuff, is just make things to look forward to. Like look and see what concerts are coming into your town in the next couple months and book them. And like just have those things in your calendar that are different, that just like are things you can look forward to that will kind of take you out of your normal repetitive routine. Um, making a reservation next week for a dinner with a friend, trip to the amusement park, or like a beach day. Someone said, I don't feel so good. I feel like my friends are ghosting me. I wanted to talk about this one because in my hardest of hearts, I do believe at my core, I am a good person and I'm a good friend and I'm like, I don't think I've ever done anything to seriously hurt somebody. I obviously have gossiped here and there, but I don't think I've ever said anything that intense to anybody. Like I genuinely think and hope that if people are spreading my name around, that it's a good thing. Like I don't know what they would say that would be bad. I don't know what it is lately. I found that like a lot of people that I thought were my friends or just like acquaintances, and this also could very much be just the LA culture, but I really thought I found people that were like, like my true friends. I found that recently they just don't talk to me at all, they don't interact with me, and I wish that there was communication because there's clearly something going on with these people and I. Nothing has been said, like I've reached out multiple times and it's just like nothing, like there's no communication as to why, it's just like kind of ended, you know? It genuinely makes me feel like I'm a bad person or like I said something or did something that I just don't know and I've like been racking my brain and going through every single memory, or every single thing, and I'm like, oh my god, like I'm, I'll make a whole story up, because I have a OCD. I'm like literally diagnosed with like mental OCD and it just scares me I feel like people are going around making up these stories or saying something like there's just so much anxiety over friends I don't know why and like for me and the advice that I give to people that have this situation is like if you know who you are on the inside Then that's all that matters and if the closest people to you and your actual real friends know who you are Then that's all that matters too. like you see in the media It's like oh this one actress was so bad on set and like they are mean and they're just like now known as a mean person And it sucks as long as you're happy and I'm I'm so happy in my life right now. Like I only wish that these people were here to share it with me because I'm so happy, but they're not and that's fine. That's just how life works, especially in LA and it's just sad. I have my closest people that I love and know and that's all that matters to me. Don't let other people depict whether you are a good person or not. That's all I wanna talk about. I'll keep reading these throughout my day just to check up on everyone, see how everyone's doing. I do feel a lot better. I'm so glad I went to that ballet class. Mm -hmm.